Hey Mercedes. How can I help? Do you think this video will get a thousand views? In order to use online functions of the oh, voice come system, on. Hello and welcome back. This is the AMG GLE 63S, a new model for 2021, and it's back with more performance at half the value of the Lamborghini Urus. Now this bad boy here goes up against some steep competition, such as the Porsche Cayenne Turbo and the BMW X5M. Now you can have two of these for the price of one Lamborghini Urus, and both models have very similar performance. Both achieve zero to 60 in about three and a half seconds. Both have incredible luxury and both look pretty phenomenal. Although I have to give Lamborghini the edge because that Urus looks really, really sharp. But this is no slouch. The GLE 63 has an aggressive, angry face. Like it's showing its teeth to the competition. Now I did mention that the 2021 AMG GLE 63S is about half the cost of a new Lamborghini Urus. In the U.S., the all-new 2021 AMG GLE 63S starts at a base price of $113,950. This year, the GLE 63S gets new active dynamic engine mounts and an electronic limited slip differential. New for the 53 and 63 GLE is the AMG specific grille with vertical lamella borrowed from the AMG GTR and it's a distinguishing feature on almost all new AMG models. The wheelbase is now longer than the outgoing model, improving the ride quality, and the exterior styling is even more aggressive with painted fender flares, giving the new GLE even more road presence. This GLE 63S, as demonstrated, has an MSRP of $124,795, which is about what you can expect from most equipped GLE 63s on the market. I'm a huge fan of the stealthy specs, and this GLE is no exception. It's painted in obsidian black metallic and equipped with the AMG Night Package, which blacks out the front splitter, front apron trim, the window surround, rear apron in gloss black, and exhaust tips in black chrome. Really the only silver or chrome on this exterior are the polished face wheels and the model designation. And about those wheels, 21 inch is standard for the GLE 63, and a 22 option is available as well. Inside the new GLE 63S and you'll see everything is upholstered in beautiful smooth grain Nappa leather. The interior color is AMG exclusive black Nappa with a gray accent stripe. This supple upholstery extends to all the areas you touch including the armrests, the door panel, the dashboard, and the entire headliner is an Alcantara or Dynamica microfiber suede. The panorama sunroof is an optional extra for $1,000, so you can look up and stare at the clouds. The two digital displays make the cabin feel high-tech and modern. 64 color ambient lights add a vibrant glow to the dashboard panels, the door trim, and the center grab handles. You can also choose from a variety of different interior trim options such as this metal weave pattern. The 4-zone climate option is $860, but it's a necessity if you have rear seat passengers traveling with you. This option adds rear AC controls for both the temperature and fan speed and extends the air vents to the B pillars for even more comfort. And for added privacy, I have these power sunshades which is standard on the GLE 63. Under the hood of this AMG is the handcrafted 4-liter V8 bi-turbo engine made by one master technician in Alfalterbach, Germany, which produces 603 horsepower and 627 pound-feet of torque. That's the same torque output as the Lamborghini Urus, but just 37 horsepower shy of the Urus's 641 horsepower engine. But this engine delivers more horsepower and torque than the Porsche Cayenne Turbo and the BMW X5M. Lastly, connecting the engine and transmission is Mercedes EQ Boost, a starter and generator motor that works in conjunction with the 48 volt battery system, assisting the engine in providing immediate response. Putting all this power to the pavement 
is the AMG Formatic Plus all-wheel drive system, and it's clever in the way it varies the torque from front to rear wheels, giving ultimate traction in all conditions. Sending the power to the drivetrain is the AMG Speed Shift Torque Converter 9-speed automatic transmission. Of course, this wouldn't be an AMG without it making some noise, and so naturally the AMG Performance Exhaust is a standard option, and the sound it makes is thunderous. Listen. Back to the additional options, this GLE is equipped with Driver Assistance Package Plus. This is Mercedes most advanced safety in one bundle, giving you active distance assist, distronic cruise control, active steering assist, active blind spot assist, active lane keeping assist, active lane change assist, active speed limit assist, active cooking assist, active homework assist, and so many other assists. There is also the MBUX technology package, which includes augmented video navigation and a head-up display. You'll want a head-up display because this vehicle goes way too fast for you to take your eyes off the road. What's nice is the head-up display has so much customization, more than I've seen in any other vehicle. There are three separate sections, each with various pages of information. My personal favorite is the race-like tachometer and digital speedometer. Remember when I mentioned that the wheelbase is longer? Well, you can opt for a third row seating package in the GLE 350, 450, 580, and AMG 53 trims. But the 63S is strictly a two row configuration, and I'm sure that has something to do with the added performance and suspension components. And speaking of suspension, the AMG Sport suspension is based on Airmatic, and it can raise the vehicle for more ground clearance so you can take it through a rocky terrain perhaps a flooded area, or right here in the parking garage. One of the coolest features ever conceived by Mercedes-Benz is the Parktronic Advanced Parking Assist. This technology includes a parking pilot built into the vehicle. Pressing this button, labeled with a P and a camera, pulls up the parking pilot. All we need to do is drive forward, and the system is detecting open spaces between vehicles. So I'm gonna pick this spot up here. As soon as I pass the empty space, the vehicle will tell me to stop and park. We're gonna select the space on the screen. It asks me, do I wanna go forward or reverse? I'm gonna back in, push it in to reverse. At this point, I don't do anything. And there it is. Right. Well, we're inside the AMG GLE 63S. Incredible cabin. Beautiful carbon fiber looking trim. Um, black and white upholstery. Just awesome, awesome interior. Whoever spec this did a great job. So let's take it out. Well, as you can expect, the ride is is solid, is the best word to describe it. Suspension is in comfort mode. It's pleasant, but it still feels very, very stiff. Not in an unpleasant way. It's very, very comfortable. It feels like I'm in a very capable car.
very quick. This is all still in the comfort setting. Well, now that the engine's warmed up, I'm in Sport Plus. of that exhaust note. <laughs> yeah, it's a blast. And we also have a race mode. So the AMG Dynamics, which is a stability software, is set to Pro, which is the most extreme. It's a monster. I mean, a vehicle of this size shouldn't be this fast. You know, on normal roads, just cruising along, the car feels phenomenal. The cabin's spacious. I have the panorama sunroof allowing so much light in. And the seating position and how high you sit makes you feel like you're the king of the road. This really is an all-purpose utility vehicle like a truck with a madman for an engine. And it can get you in trouble. It can. What happens in Sport Plus is truly remarkable. The engine becomes alive and responsive. The suspension gets really firm. It makes you feel confident that you can take it around a corner with no body roll or very minimal. The steering gets tight, has a very good weight to it, and of course, the exhaust is open. purchased a C7 Corvette Stingray. That vehicle weighs around 3,200 to 3,300 pounds, give or take. Zero to 60 in a pretty healthy 3.8, 3.9 seconds. Quarter mile, just about 12 or just under 12. Or a 2020 911 Carrera, zero to 60 in 3.7 to 3.8 and a quarter mile in about 11.3 or so. And this mammoth of a vehicle, it weighs in about 5,300 pounds, almost 2,000 pounds heavier than the Corvette and the 911. But it hits zero to 60 in a faster time. Mercedes estimates about 3.7 seconds. I know it'll do faster than that, I can feel it. A quarter mile is in mid 11 seconds. So it'll keep up with a sports car at almost double the weight. So who's really the buyer of this kind of vehicle? Obviously, it's a mom who wants a fun grocery getter, doesn't want to pick up the kids from soccer practice in a lame minivan, no offense. Or maybe it's a successful father who wants a family vehicle that doesn't want to compromise on any of the fun. And this really, truly is a SUV that can do both. Yeah, this will never get old. I'm about to have a kid. Maybe I should get one of these. 
So parents, you can, in fact, have it all. This is a car that can do everything. Pick your kids up, take a trip to Costco, maybe pick up some plies at Home Depot. Or you can take a sharp turn and go fast. All right, this concludes the video of the AMG GLE 63S. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode where I'll be reviewing yet another awesome new vehicle. As always, this is Mario Chayage at Mercedes-Benz of Houston Greenway. Let me know if I can be of service to you and I'll see you next video. Hey Mercedes. How may I help you? Turn my massage on. I'm switching on the massage.